Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. This is something I have to do alone. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. If this was me, asking you for help, would you be there for me? Why do you have a black eye, Kenny? Please. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. I swear, before this is all over, I'm gonna show you I can do something right. Oh, those good old telltale loading times. Anyway, hey guys, Sergeant Mario 11 here. Welcome back for the final episode of The Walking Dead. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Holy. Vernon, put Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Fucking dead! I don't know who you are, but I will kill you! Do you understand? I know you will. She knows you will. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Clem. Just hold on, Clementine. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? <sighs> it doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have a lot of time. No shit, we don't. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here. Also, so sorry if I sound a little bit different in this episode, because I have a, uh, I have a bit of a cold right now. I had a really bad sore throat earlier, so if I sound a little different, you know why. I should keep looking for a way out. Yeah, as quick as you can. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, as quick as you can. Okay. Hey. We'll have time to chit chat later. Can those things let up for a fucking minute? That'd be too easy, huh? Why are you teleporting over there, Lee? Oh wait, I know why. But we'll get into that later. Sewers and God only knows how many up top, so you know. There he goes again with the teleporting. <sighs> Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Where the hell did they go? Yes, where did they go? This isn't gonna help. Thought I saw something you could select up there. No? Guess not.
Huh. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Gross as me out just looking at it. Looks Let's like take a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Uh. You know, I've learned to appreciate Lee talking out loud to himself, because believe me, <sighs> trust me, just, just once you get to the later process. games, you'll learn to appreciate this a lot more. Hey, I think I found a way out! Try again. All right. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Yep. For a second there, I thought I was actually going to make us do it. Lee? Time left. Christ! What the hell happened? It's the bite. Well, what can we do? I don't know. Help me move him. Jesus. Are you sure this will help? You got any better ideas? Okay. It's now or never. Oh, Jesus! Uh, don't kill me! Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still got to do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Hey. Laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no Damn shit. right it isn't. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. What do you think? No, I'm gonna need them both for later. No, we leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. We? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Some surgical supplies. All right then. Oh, back in position. I should work on getting that elevator open. I should work on getting that elevator open. All right, all right, all right. Wait. Uh, nothing useful in here. All right, all right. Let's go. Open that elevator. Wait, is it an elevator? No, it isn't. All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good.
Oh, Sean Vanaman, how I wish you were still writing this series. Nice and quiet, everybody. There's some hey, light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Oh shit! Oh, shit! Oh jeez. Everything okay up there? I think I just peed myself. So yes then. Well, if you're still hanging on, then I'd say that's good. <coughs> oh god. Lee! Lee! Oh god. Are you alive? Get up! I'm still on the ladder. No help. Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? It seems like it, but... That can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. What about the train? What about the train? It wasn't quiet. You think it could have brought them all to us? Yeah, why not? We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? Look, let's get our nice. bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. It's the bite. Just have to deal with it. Just let us know if you start feeling funny. Like, if things are happening. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah good as I can be. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. Man, that's one awesome looking son. Not going back in there. Dr. Krista. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, <laughs> right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? 
Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't gonna let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been well, thank solid you. since day one. What's this, day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. Alright, now I absolutely love doing this. If you talk to Ben, way over here... See anything? There's a fire escape He just here. teleports all right about to it. him. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. When it all comes down to it, if it's just you and Clementine for some reason, I think you'll have plenty of reason to want to live. Don't talk like that. The way things have been going, I don't have any choice, Ben. <laughs> you came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. And now, well, now he's all the way over here. If we use that well, bell the camera to is. lure all those walkers towards that side of the hospital, the road to the mansion and River Street shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay, but you still have to get over there. Yeah. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. I need to get off this roof. Alright. And now Lee just walks all the way back over here. Man, he is really reaping the benefits from that bite. He's already using the powers that the walkers have. The teleporting dead. Which is what I should have said earlier. Actually, that's how there's so many of them down there. Walkers, they just teleport out of freaking nowhere. And since Lee has that bite, looks like he's already becoming one. Which means we've got to move our asses. Nothing over here. See how old Mead's doing. Wait, actually. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Alright then. Air Mead. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm, yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Alright. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... It might be our way off this rooftop. If I can make it to that bell tower, I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. <laughs> That's a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. <laughs> the way I'm jumping that. Yeah. Anyway, let's go grab that ladder we saw back there. I bet 
bed hurt like hell. Buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Appreciate you all for takes a risk like this. for volunteering, but be the guy I should be the one to do it. At least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Getting over would be tough. No way I'm jumping that. It should be able to get me across the gap. I don't like anything about this. It'll take two. Neither seconds. do I, but we gotta do it. Hurry. Nothing to worry about. We can do this. Don't worry. We got this. Uh oh. Shit. <laughs> oh. oh fuck. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there. Uh. The hatch. Locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked. Try again. Uh, shit. Uh, I'm not getting out through there. All right. Okay. We've officially established that. A few solid rings of this, and there'll be thousands down below. All right. So let's get to ringing. Way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Oh, great. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. Fuck, be careful. Oh, God damn it. I'm so fucked. Uh, guys, I don't know Please. about this. You can do it. Are you sure about that? You're psyching yourself out. No shit. You really think I can do this? One, two, three. It's not so simple, Ben. We gotta go! Jump! Fuck, man. I don't know if I can make it. You can do it! Are you sure? It's not that far down. It's, uh, not that far. Yeah, well, look at where you're at, Ben. Just jump! What? <laughs> Don't look down! Can I look down again? <laughs> Fuck, man. I don't know if I can make it. I believe in you! Wait. You believe in me, Ben? Okay, that's it. I gotta jump. Come on. You got this, Lee. You got this, motherfucker! Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here.
thing. You motherfuckers! That doesn't sound good. They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon. He didn't have Clem. So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck. Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. How you doing with, I don't uh, believe the shit. Everything happening there. We were going to cut it off. But Lee objected. We're all going to end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here, so keep an eye on me. <sighs> Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You I just did. That actually. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Get over it! Worry about the boat after. You can scour the goddamn coast looking for him. I'll make that bastard wish the cancer had got him. You're welcome. Oh, believe me, Kenny. There's another Hold person that, that I'm gonna wish the cancer yeah, had got sure. to them. But we'll get to that piece of shit when we get to season two. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Countryside. Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill, not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass Kenny. at Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! I am so, so, so sorry about Katya and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse and I don't know. So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben. I'm... That right there is one of the oh, most shit. powerful scenes comes. in the whole in the game. House. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Go upstairs. Secure whatever you can and make sure we're alone. Done. Ben. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. Got it. Omid. Omid? What is it? Oh, great. Front doors! Come on. Oh, crap! Oh Jesus, I thought it was the return of the Brawl physics for the second there. 
Thank God it wasn't. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's okay. A knife or something in there. Knife. Hurry! Knife. No. 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 Whew, knife. Take their goddamn arms off. All right. Come on. Chop the their hell? damn arms off. They're strong as shit. Get them, Lee. Okay. Doing? Getting them. Cut them off. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. You were saying? Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Oh, hello, bitch, who I never cared about in the first place. No offense to the person who actually won that contest to be in the game, by the way. Guys, help me with this! Teleporting Lee. Yep. Yep. That bite is really doing a lot of benefits for us. Too bad he can't teleport the furniture. What do we do now? This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Got it. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Here we go. Dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access. A vent. Anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just... Lee, get up! Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. 
Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? <sighs> you had to bring that guy up matter. again. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, and not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Oh yeah? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this, we might not have to. Let's see. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. <sighs> Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. They probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. Tingly, like it's asleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? Make sure he never does it again. We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? It's gonna happen the regardless, The entire time Krista. you were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Chris. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. <laughs> I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. I'll be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, you gotta think to about me. this. It's what I want, okay? What about him? Poor Ben. We, uh, gotta support him. 
He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during the raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of his son. Jesus. Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe he went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told yeah. us. Took some breaths. I don't think I would have. <sighs> oh, Kenny. How are you? I'm... I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. He wanted to die in Crawford. What's that now? When I had him there in my hand. He wanted me to drop him. He asked me to. Oh, Jesus. What? I'm glad it was you making that call and not me. <sighs> Perfect timing. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. Sometimes I... I wonder if I could have caused them all that. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Amen. Why the hell not? I don't have much time left anyway. Plus, I might benefit from it, actually. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... people we've seen go they got to do it their own way together don't you say that you stick it out as long as you can you do whatever you have to I could have done more we all could have done more myself included I could have been a better husband better father could have been a better friend. 
So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Right. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. All right, you know what? I'd say that's enough for this part, all right? So, next time on The Walking Dead, no time left. We're going to find Clementine once and for all. And give her little kidnapper a little lesson. See you guys then.